Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to talk about the different technologies using LCD computer displays. Specifically, I'm going to run through the four main panel types, and then I'll give you a practical demonstration of the difference between a TN and an IPS panel. All liquid crystal displays are built from several different layers, starting with a backlight and then a polarising filter. At the front, there is a second polarising filter at 90 degrees to the first one, which initially prevents any light from getting through. However, between the fixed polarising filters, there's a layer of liquid crystal polarising agent and a matrix of thin film transistors. When power is applied, these transistors selectively reorientate the polarising agent, so allowing some light emerging from the first polarizer to pass through the one at the front. Although the backlight is white, LCD monitors include an RGB filter, which allows colour images to be created by turning on or off white subpixels that are positioned behind a red, blue or green material. While all LCD screens work in this manner, there are many different ways of manufacturing and reorientating the polarising agent. This has resulted in several types of LCD panel, including TN, IPS, MVA and PVA. TN is the most popular technology and stands for Twisted Pneumatic. TN panels are also the cheapest and have the highest refresh rates, which makes them the best choice for high-speed gaming. On the other hand, TN displays have poorer colour reproduction than other panel types. This is largely due to their restrictive viewing angles, especially vertically, as I shall shortly demonstrate. The second most common panel type is IPS, which stands for in-plane switching. IPS screens have the best colour reproduction and the widest viewing angles. They are, however, more expensive than other panels and have relatively low refresh rates. Many subcategories of IPS exist, including SIPS or Super IPS, and a Samsung variant known as Plane to Line Switching or PLS. A third panel type is MVA, which stands for Multi Domain Vertical Alignment. This is a compromise between TN and IPS, with better response times than IPS and better colour reproduction and viewing angles than TN. A related technology is PVA or Patterned Vertical Alignment which shares similar characteristics to MVA. Right, we've had the theory, so I thought I'd give you a practical demonstration. Here you have two pretty much identical NEC 19-inch monitors. On one side, on the left, we've got the 190M, which is a TN panel, and on the other side, we've got the 193MI, which is an IPS panel. And as I hope you can see, even though I've tried to match them up in terms of setting the monitors up for this test, we have got stronger colours, certainly on the yellows and the greens here, on the IPS panel compared to the TN. Now I'd like to be able to show you the differences in their response rate and the frame rates they can handle, but I can't do that on video because I'm filming here at 25p, so I can't show you a high frame rate. But what I can show you is what happens if we look at these monitors from different viewing angles. So if I take, for example, first of all the, the TN panel here, I can uh, twist this a bit, I'll twist it round, and as it goes round you can hopefully see we start to lose some of the colour. The colour certainly goes there compared to where it was you know, when we started on looking at it head on. So that's what happens with a TN panel. But what might surprise you is if I take this IPS panel and I turn this round as well, I'll turn to about the same angle, which is about there. We've also lost pretty much, I think, the same amount of contrast and colour. And therefore, one of the takeaways I hope you'll have from this demonstration is that a modern TN panel is pretty much as good as an IPS panel in terms of its horizontal viewing angles. Both of the panels lose colour as they went round. Both will get it back as I pull them back again. But um, there isn't that massive a difference in the horizontal viewing angle. This said, there is going to be an enormous difference in the vertical viewing angle. And to show you that, I'm going to do something I hardly ever do in an explaining computers video, which is to take the camera off the tripod. Right, I've now uh, 
completely disconnected. You might say I've been that way for years, but it means I can go from looking at these monitors head on pretty much as we are now to looking at them from a much lower angle. So I'll now try and achieve that. This is a tricky piece of camera work to try and make happen. I'm going down towards the floor. You're looking at the monitors from a lower and lower and lower and lower angle, but eventually the floor will arrive. The floor has now arrived. I can't go any lower than that. And as you can hopefully see, that's had a significant impact on the color response of in fact both panels. The IPS panel has lost some color, but the TN panel has lost a very, very large amount of color. And that, I think, really shows very, very clearly the difference between the color response of a TN panel and one based on IPS. I could perhaps try and reverse that trick, bring things up again, try and keep everything roughly level and stable as I do it, and the color comes back in. It's almost a bit like like a magic trick, in fact, it's all about the way polarizing filters and agents actually react to light at different angles. But uh, there we are. You've now seen the real difference between having a panel based on TN and one based on IPS. So, the magic question, which is the best LCD panel technology? Well, for most people, most of the time, I would recommend buying a TN panel. You'll get by far the best performance to price ratio, and the TN panels are the fastest, so certainly the best for things like high-speed gaming. If you are doing a very delicate color work, photography, some types of video editing, it may well be worth paying, though, for an IPS panel, although do be aware you shouldn't buy an IPS panel if you're going to do that high-speed gaming. Personally, I would avoid the MVA and PVA panels as they are a bit of a compromise between uh, the two other panel types. So I personally would either go for IPS at the high end or stick with TN. I'd also say if you are going to buy anything other than a TN panel, do try and see it working before you buy so that you can really judge whether the extra cost is worth uh, the potential performance improvement. But now that's it for another video and I hope to talk to you again very soon.